<laughs> oh boy. Well, I can only explain this one by saying that the purchase was covered by the returning of another clock, actually a pulsar wood grain thing that you may have seen in another video. I know I have shown it off in a video, but I don't know if I've uploaded the video yet. In fact, I haven't even really edited it. But either way, returned one, bought this and some others. So what is it before we even get into anything else? Well, let's have a look here. You can see it's got a nice dot style display. I really do like that. That was the reason why I bought the damn thing. But the good news ends there. And that's right. This piece of plastic crap came from Walmart. So <laughs> that tells you a little bit about the quality. To me, it seems like it's actually a knockoff dream machine. I'm not quite sure what this finish is supposed to be. If this is supposed to be some kind of fake aluminum finish. I didn't even notice it really until now. Oh, it's actually it actually is textured. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. This thing is so dirty. <laughs> like it's unbelievable. I don't know. But anyways. Manufactured June of 2012. Can we get some uh, look at that? Come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. Here's a neat feature. It takes a 2032 backup battery instead of those stupid 9 volts that are nothing but expensive wastes of time. It actually does have some screws holding it together. I'm very shocked to see that. Here's some other information about it. Let's have another quick look. This actually here is a temperature sensor. I'm going to get into that in a minute. And an external FM antenna, which is a nice thing to see on something cheap like this. And really, this thing is like the very definition of cheap plastic crap. There was the price. What is that? That's a vent for the transformer. And there's the speaker. There's a line input right there. And some shock hazard warnings. Volume knob, tuning knob, some more screws. Let me flip this stick around. We've got a dimmer switch on the top here, a band switch, temperature, YMD, something for an alarm, snooze sleep time zone, alarm two, alarm set, a mode button, and a power switch. So where do we even begin with this thing? Well, let's have a look at the display. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on video. I can see it in person. This is the highest display brightness. Look at the unevenness in the LED brightness, the LED intensity. Might I remind you, this thing was made in 2012. And the LED intensity is already uneven and wearing out. LEDs are supposed to last forever, according to the manufacturers. Or, if they're not going to last forever, they're supposed to last for a very, very good long time. There's a clock radio over there, likely from the 1980s. I've got several that are likely from the 1980s, including that one right there. All of which have got more even and brighter brightness than this thing does right now. Pathetic. Here's the lowest brightness setting. There isn't even much of a difference between high and low. Now, there's so little of a difference, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that on camera. Maybe just barely. I, I can barely even see it in the viewfinder. But either way, I'm going to leave it at low here for a minute. Here's your temperature display, 29 degrees Celsius, or press and hold it, it switches it into the other temperature scale, maybe 4. I have no idea if this is even working. Oh, I can't even see it. Because it was displaying the same temperature when I had it at work, and I can guarantee you it was hotter at work than it is here. And I've got other gauges that are saying 82.4. You know, 83. 
There's one over here that says 89 point something, 89.7, I believe. It's trying to shine some light on the subject. No, no, you won't be able to see that. Actually, I think I need to replace the batteries in that one over there. 83, no, is that 83 or 89? I think that's 89. But anyways, so accuracy is not this thing's strong point. 2016, 88. So it is actually correct. I guess that's what that's for. There's an alarm thing here. And another alarm thing here. It's got two alarm modes. Melody, or I guess maybe it's music and alarm. Which means wake to the radio. I'm assuming. What does a snooze button do? No, not much. It's supposed to be a sleep timer, but I can't imagine that it's actually working. I don't know what mode is supposed to do. So let's turn on the radio and have a listen to the radio. And here is, I, I want to point out something else. See that? So these people, they've got an analog tuning dial over here. Or an analog tuning knob and a digital tuning dial. What? If you can't be asked to put in an analog tuning dial, you might as well make it digitally tuned. There is no point in having a, an analog tuning wheel at that point. Because now, we've got a system here that has got all of the disadvantages of analog tuning and all of the disadvantages of digital tuning. So this analog tuner is allowed to drift over time. Who knows if the frequency that this thing is displaying right now... Where's that stupid note? Nope, that's the volume. Who knows if these frequencies are correct? No way of knowing. And the other downside is I can't just glance at the frequency. Like, what frequency is this? I have no idea right now if I were to just walk in. Disadvantage. Stupid system. Horrible. Bad. So here's the bottom of the dial here. This is as loud as it gets. Fine tuning is very possible with this. Or not. Like I said, that's as loud as it gets. It's a tiny speaker. I have it turned all the way up, by the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and switch it into AM here by hitting the band button. All the way at the top. Interestingly enough, it actually does remember where its positioning is. It's at the top. I don't know how it manages to do that, but either way. It suggests to me that they probably should have just put in an analog tuning dial. Boys drowned over the weekend. Yeah, this is trash. There's supposed to be a local station on here, and it can't even receive it. You know what? That's enough of that. 
go ahead and have a listen to the alarm. I'll set one of them and we'll, we'll see what it does. Yep, this is a suspected. There's your alarm. Coming through the speaker. It is not volume controllable. You would have a hard time waking a cicada if you stuck this next to them and set the alarm off. This is the exact reason why I avoid Sony Dream Machines. It's because they won't wake me up. They won't wake the average person up. They wouldn't wake a flea up. Because they're too quiet. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. The speaker is obviously capable of quite a bit louder of an alarm. So why isn't it louder? But that's even besides the point. What was wrong with the piezo that they had in alarm clocks? There is no reason why this thing couldn't have a piezo in it. You know, you could, like, put an opening in the bottom or something for a piezo, or, like, put it right here where this the speaker grill here, not speaker grill, but the, the transformer grill is, because this isn't getting hot. It doesn't even need to have that, but I guess it probably does, because, oh, it could cause a fire otherwise. Yeah. So this is the very definition of crap. This is why I don't ever trust anything brand new. I'm glad I didn't buy it brand new, because it was probably like 35 bucks brand new. Would never pay $35 brand new. I still haven't been able to figure out what the F this is supposed to actually do. Time zone? Like, what is this? Zone 5? Okay, great. So now what? What am I supposed to do from here? Five, okay. Mode gets out of it. I don't know what that was all about. Now if we look up here. There's a light up there. Not sure if you can see it. I'm not sure if it's used here, but there is a sun indicator up there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be for daylight savings time. It's not on. There's a D over there. Maybe that's for daylight savings time. It's not on. What happens if I press the sleep button? Nothing. Nothing happens. So it doesn't even turn on the sleep timer. Now how stupid is that? This whole thing is just stupid. So there you go. There is the cheap on or off, as I like to call it, clock radio. Really cool display. It's too bad that's the only good thing about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then. Hope we all have something a little bit better to talk about. Actually, I do have something a little bit better to talk about. Energy verified. Well, I'll tell you what my opinion of Energy Star is. My opinion of Energy Star is that it's a whole crock of crap. Absolutely meaningless. Because there are a lot of Energy Star things out there that, when it comes down to it, they use more energy than something that is not Energy Star. And oh yeah, by the way, when's the last time you saw a non-Energy Star rated appliance break down? Well, I did say it was going to be a rant, so you can't say I didn't rant about something. <laughs>